Hi guys, today I will walk you through my newest product which is 3D Transition Effects that works also in free version. So first you need to install it. Right after you download the DRFX file, link in the description, open the Fusion page and drag and drop the file into the notes panel. You'll be asked to install it, in my case it's already done. Now go back to the edit page and in the effects, video transitions, search for 3D transitions. Here it is. You should see cube, cylinder and wall 3D transitions. Let me add a video to the timeline. I will split the video somewhere here, where the zoom to the batch is. And let's apply 3D cylinder transition. In the inspector, you have a bunch of controls like camera settings, rotation, etc. I will set the scale to 2. It will move back the camera a bit. The rest of the settings I will leave at default. Let's make the transition longer by simply dragging it and wait for the render cache, this red line. It should be blue. If you don't see it, go to playback menu, render cache and check smart. Ok, here it is how it looks. I will shorten the transition. It looks even better. What I like to do with effects like this is the camera shake. So select both clips, right click and choose new compound clip. Now, go to the moment where the transition ends and split the clip. Apply Camera Shake Transition, which is free in DaVinci Resolve. In the inspector, set alignment on the right, duration to 6 frames, increase shake speed to the max and shake strength set to 0.4, increase contrast. Now let me show you the 3D wall transition. Let's split our clip and apply the transition. I will make it longer also. In the inspector you'll find more or less the same controls as in the previous transition. I will move back the camera, Y rotation and in the wall settings you can control the color and gradient settings. You can also enable fusion overlay view. The green line will show up and you can manually modify the gradient position. Ok, let me change the color to maybe orange and let's play it. I will trim the right clip so it looks as transition. If you work with two different clips, it obviously looks like transitioning from one to each other. Last but not least, the 3D cube transition. Let me play with some of the settings. If you want to change the background of the transition, you can place underneath whatever you want, for example solid color. But I will show you something fancier. Instead of the solid color, I will make a copy of the clips and place them below. So select the clips, hold ALT key and drag it down. Now select the transition below and in the inspector move the camera forward using scale control. I will decrease the X rotation so it better fills out the whole background and I will also enable motion blur with highest quality. Wait for the render cache and here it is. Leave a comment what do you think of it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.